got in the summer. I know she ain't been around a long time. But what do you like about where they are now compared to what it was this spring? I think the football IQ is, has improved. I don't think that's the thing that sticks out the most. You know, obviously, they've been working hard you know, with Coach Fitz this summer. And obviously, we haven't had a whole lot of time where we have spent time with them the time when we can. Um, so the guys are, are eager to learn, they're eager to go out there and put the best foot forward. I know you haven't been here in a while, but you know, Coach Bruce was praising his coaching staff. How comfortable is the staff with each other? Very comfortable. Uh, the main thing is everybody knows each other. We've all worked together in some capacity in the past. So it made the transition in the, of, of coaching together again that much easier because we all have the same philosophies. We all, all coach the ball the same way and see the same way. So, you know, it's been an easy transition coaching people that you know in the past. You know, the SEC is the last screen league, no doubt. How comfortable are you now? Or um, what are your thoughts so far on the progress of that defensive line? Well, yeah, you know, if you're, you're not good in the trenches in the SEC, you don't have a hard day's work. You know? We have a lot of bodies up front and a lot of competition at that group. Uh, Coach Rocky does a really good job, you know, molding those guys, getting them to play the right way. So I look forward to seeing the outcome of the ball camp for those guys. Once you finally had a time to sit down and, and watch some tape of these guys, was there a certain thing that you identified with the defense that you really wanted to work on and improve? Yeah, there's always things you want to work on, you know, coming out of spring ball, going into summer camp. And I think the communication of all 11 guys, talking, saying the same language, saying it the same way, pre-snap identification of splits, you know, tight end formations, quarterback mannerisms, all those things can help us post-snap. Those are things we're going to hop on in camp. You mentioned football IQ improved from the spring. How do you... How has that been improved when you're not practicing football and you can't well, be around it that much? Well, it, it improves because the guys are here older in the scheme, for one. And going through the spring and then having, having acclimated practices in the summer, we can also get around them and, and develop them a little bit more. So I think the familiarity with the, with the scheme, the coaching staff, I think that kind of helps guys calm down, take, a, take a, a deep breath and see things a little bit clearer. How much competition do you think you have at, at safety and, and at maybe the, the nickel and, and the dime spot there and, and just, you know, as you go into camp? I think we've got a lot of competition. Uh, we have a lot of guys that are play some ball. Uh, we have some guys that are proving themselves. But we also got a, a bunch of guys that are coming up that are eager to, to put their foot on the field and make their imprint on the defense. So we have a lot of competition at the corner position, the star position, and safety position. So you know these guys are going to come into camp and attack the right way, and, and we're going to see who, who rises to the top. Are you a guy that likes to rotate a bunch of guys, or would you rather prefer to kind of find six or seven and kind of stick with those? Well, we want to try to find the best, you know, eight to nine, ten defensive backs that we can. We try to rotate those guys throughout the season. And because we play so many different multiple packages, you want to have fresh legs and guys that can do different skill sets. So that's why we try to teach everybody, you know, more than one position to create depth within the defense. What do you want to see, Coach, out of our linebacking group heading into ball camp? Well, again, you know, those guys, we've got some juniors and seniors at that spot, and they play a lot of ball. You know, just quarterback in the defense, you know, talking to the front, being a signal caller and just getting us in the right play and, get, and being able to put out fires. Because sometimes we may see some things in the game that we may have not prepared for, and we got to be able to put the fires out, and that's what those guys' jobs are. Coach Perry said that uh, Daniel Gibbs will redshirt. What would you like to see him work on this year um, you know, as he gets ready for playing down the road? Well, you know, Dan is a guy that can play both sides of the ball. You know, he's got a unique skill set because he's a big man that can run, and he's got really good ball skills down the field. So receiver is a position he plays well. So. We just want him to go out there every day and, and, and work as hard as he can and you know, continue to develop his overall strength and strength conditioning levels and see what happens next year. Come on, how are you looking for uh, Daniel and Daryl to be leaders on that side? Yeah, the, those two guys, like I said, they played you know, three or four year starters in, in our scheme in and, and, and Tennessee. So we're expecting those guys to take a big jump and, and be the leaders of the defense. Specifically with Daryl, you know, he had a couple games last year where he played at an All America level, other games where he wasn't back to the back. Or what's caught your attention about him since he's got well, Darrell works hard, you know, for one. He's done a really good job you know, this offseason of putting on added weight and muscle. Uh, you can tell by his, his frame, he's you know, put together really well. So, you know, going forward, it's all about him just going out there and providing you know, depth for the young guys and leadership for the young guys and going out there and being a leader for the outside linebacker. You obviously signed junior college players to play. What are your early thoughts as you go into camp on, on Middleton and Savvy on Williams? Glad to have those guys. You, know, you can never have enough big men up front. You know, those two guys coming in, they had you know, adequate depth to the defensive line, the interior of the line, and we're excited to see what those guys can do moving forward. Coach, Coach Rocker in the spring, obviously Henry arrived this summer. What, what's kind of the early plan for both those two linebackers? Well, the early plan is to, to get them caught up as fast as we can. That's probably the spring, so you know he did some good things, showed some flashes, and, and get Henry you know caught up to speed as quick as possible. Uh, 
because again, we're trying to find the best football players we can find. Hopefully those two guys are in the mix. Do you envision them moving them around or is it, is it more likely that you guys would like to find a spot for them just early in the first two weeks of camp and kind of keep them there? Well, both of them are inside linebacker types. You know, Crouch has a little bit more versatility, but him is more of an inside signal caller type guy. So we're going we're gonna to put them at a spot and try to let them grow. And if they can handle more multiples, then we'll give them more multiples. Coach, are you a guy that likes to watch a lot of film from last season, or are you one that wants to make your own judgments and, and look at the guys on the practice field at what they got? No, I think you definitely got to watch last season because you have common opponents. You have opponents that you're going to see again. But also you want to see the skill set of the guys that you have. Um, I wasn't away from college football that long, so I already knew kind of what we had here. You know, <coughs> talking to Coach Blue and from some of these guys. So I had an idea what kind of skill set we had. And watching from the same defense, you know, is that or some of the same principles, does that make it easier? Because I guess maybe with, with Coach Cheney on the other side of the ball, he's looking at guys from last season playing a different kind of offense a little bit. But if your guys are, are going to be doing the same stuff, does that make it a little easier to watch that film? It does, because you can see some of the same yeah. concepts that show up over and over and over, some of your bread and butter stuff, and what you need to kind of tweak and what you can help them, you know, become better at. But again, last year was year one, and this is year two, so guys should calm down a little bit. How do you define football IQ, and then what does it take to discern that confidently and where a guy stands in that regard? Well, I think football IQ is it's, it's the volume of football that kids can, can handle, comprehend, and be able to regurgitate back to their teammates. Pre-snap keys, you know, quarterback mannerisms, down and distance, um, situational football, all those things goes into being a very smart football player. Our, our whole team has to become smarter, especially on defense. You talked about watching some film from last season. Alante Taylor was a guy who, who played a lot later in the season, like some freshmen do. He, he kind of fell off a little bit. Did you see a different guy out there this spring? And, and what have been your thoughts as you kind of got into coaching? Well, Alante has been working hard since I've been here. You know, he played a lot as a freshman last year. Corner's a tough spot to, to be thrown into the phrase of freshman in the SEC. And, you know, he did some good things, and he's got a lot of room for improvement. And he took that took that advantage this, this spring and tried to start that um, good habits, and he took it into the summer. So hopefully he'll have a good camp. What have you seen from Thompson as well, Conquer Corner? Um, same thing with Bryce. You know, again, freshman that played a lot last year, uh, really good ball skills. So we expected him to, you know, take him on the jump, you know, leadership role, doing things the right way, being accountable. So we're looking forward to him having a really good camp as well. How does it feel to go back, you know, working with our Chris Roth again? Feels really good, really good. Chris is one of my mentors. Um, I've known him for a long time, and we work well with him. Make sure you send him that chip. I think he probably needs it. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> you talk about guys like, you know, Delonte and Bryce and kind of having to go through the fire a little bit last year as freshmen. But having those those guys that have that much talent in corner and they're still young, but they've got some experience, does that kind of give you a nice building block at that position? With those guys? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, because the style of defense we want to play, you have to be really good on the outside on the perimeter. Uh, you can't have – if you don't have really good corners, it places a limitation on your defense. So, you know, with those two guys got a lot of room to improve. They got a lot of work to do. Um, they're trending in the right direction.